Delighted to say we're joined here at McLean's TV by James Tennyson, one of the, uh, yet another up and coming, one of the uh, stars of the future, let's say, of boxing here in Northern Ireland. Tell us a wee bit about yourself, let the people know who you are. Um, basically, started boxing when I was around seven years of age. Um, I think I actually lost my first tournament, heartbroken. Got back into it, um, won the Ulster title. I think it was around 12, 13 years of age. Um, went on and won three Irish titles. Uh, represented Ireland internationally three times. Um, won a multi nations gold. Won five Antrim titles. Um, roughly around North five Ulster titles. Um, got talking to Mark and Lab. I was over actually sparring, mm -hmm. and we got in talks. And um, after my multi nations gold in Portugal, we'd send over. And you won an Irish title? Um, as a professional, yes. Mm -hmm. um, I was the youngest Irish champion in, I think it was around 80, 80 years. Hang on a second, um, say it again there now. Just let the people know about this here. That's a very significant thing that you said there. Just say it again. I was 19 years of age. I was the youngest Irish champion in around 80 odd years. Um, I beat the former Irish champion second round. And where was that fight? In St. Kevin's Hall in Belfast. And that was a big success, obviously a big success for you. Yeah, definitely. It was, it was the biggest achievement of my career to date, you know. And yet, uh, you're not getting enough publicity to mirror that particular uh, performance, are you not yet? Well, no, I don't think it, you know. For being the youngest size champion in so many years, you know, it's a big achievement and there wasn't really much talk of it. Now, you said about 2015 has been a great year for you, and a wee bit like James, you know, your, your sparring partner, as I would call them, our young friars. 2015 was a decent year for you. 2016 could be a massive year for you. Yeah, definitely, it could be massive. Um, I've just won my eliminator for the British title, um, facing Darren Trainer, a guy from Scotland, he's 10 fights unbeaten, and that's going to be in the new year, it's a final eliminator, so the winner's going to go on and fight for the British title. Now, before you do that, do you think that fight could be in, you think the trainer scrap could be in Belfast, hopefully? I would like to see it being held in Belfast, you know, the support we've been getting is unbelievable, you know, there isn't much promoters running shows the way Mark is, so I'd say the shows we're getting, they deserve a lot more, uh, like, attention, would you say? So after working hard for so long, now suddenly you could be on the verge, on the cusp of a, a, a shot at a British title, if things go your way, that would be incredible, wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. That's that would be the next biggest achievement in my day. You could take one of the things off. I think it like a wish list, basically. That's a thing. It's a massive achievement that I want. Now you talk about a massive achievement for you. Can you do it? Definitely. One thing about you, you're not lacking confidence. You know, I mean, all boxers are a bit like that. You know, you clearly work very hard and train very hard. A bit like we're talking James earlier on. The training and the effort you put in must be serious to get to the level you're at. Yeah, definitely. You know, you have to put the work in. You're only going to get the results if you put the hard work in. You know, it shows come the night. Now you talk about this uh, Darren Trainer. Do you know anything about him? Do you? Or do you? Are, 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 you know, sometimes boxers, you know, look at other boxers. Do you do that, or do you just tend to basically focus on yourself, or do you look at him as well, or how would your build up be to fight like that? Uh, I'd let my trainer and my promoter Mark. I'd let them have a good look at the fight. I just, I just focus on my own training. You know. They'll have a look and they'll, they'll basically tell me this, that and the other. Well, tell us what your training is. Let the people know what it is to get to this level. Like, what are you doing on a daily basis? It's a lot of hard work. I train six days a week, you know. No social life, really. You know, I, I don't get out drinking the way every other youngster at my age does. I'm working hard twice a day. And hopefully it'll all come to fruition. And 2016, as you say, could be a serious year for you, couldn't it? Yeah, definitely, you know. If I get my hands on that brace tail, it's, it's part of all the hard work paying off. And once, is it like everything else, once you would get a British title, hopefully, uh, does that mean that other doors then sort of open a wee bit easier and a bit more automatically and you can get on to get even bigger and better things and become what presumably what everybody loves here? We all love our boxing in Northern Ireland, you know, here in Ulster, Ireland, the whole shoot, we, we, all, we all love it. You want to become a household name, don't you, and be a massive success? Yeah, definitely, you know. Getting the British title can open up every single one of them, you know. As soon as I become British champion, people are going to start talking about me, the name's going to be out there. And like you say, it's going to open up big doors. There's other titles out there, there's European, there's Commonwealth, there's world titles. Well, James, I wish you all the very best. I see you've got McLean's on your T-shirt, so there's one winner you're with anyway, so hopefully it'll work out for you next year. Thanks very much. Thank you.